Now to use the glitch effect on Kaden Live, I have a small clip over here. Now I trimmed it down to 8 seconds. I'm going to be adding the effect around over here. To do that, I'm going to go zoom in and you're going to zoom in until you see these individual lines. Each of these lines uh, represent a gap of 10 milliseconds or 0 0.01 seconds. I'm going to cut over here and I'm going to move 8 pieces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to go do another cut. So we're going to be doing the uh, effect on this piece of clip. So I'm going to go to effects and go to go find glitcher. Then I'm going to change the glitch frequency. So you don't want to add too much, but you don't want to go too little. So what the glitch frequency does is uh, it's it's gonna uh, control how many times th there's going to be glitches in the clip. And I'm going to change the block height, which is the height of these individual lines over here. So I'm going to go to around 150. Uh, you can actually lower that but if you go around here that I think that's too little So I think 170 150 that might be better So I'm going to use, reduce the shift intensity as well Then the color glitch in glitching intensity. I'm gonna go around 350. Yeah, I think that's enough So if I go back and play the clip Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna uh, hide this for now. Then I'm gonna find uh, an effect called Pixel. Pixel. And I'm gonna do some adjustment over here. Uh, around point, uh, zero 0.037 shift intensity and a little bit higher block size now if i play over the clip over here now there's not too much of a effect over here but remember majority of our heavy lifting is going to be done by the glitcher effect so if i go back now with the glitcher effect showing up and we have our both of our effects now i'm going to go ahead and play yeah, so that's basically how you do the glitch effect.